Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Mombe, and I want to make this short video to respond to questions uh, from Zimbabweans on the ZEP who are still trying to move to the mainstream South African permits. Uh, so the question that I got a number of times during the past few days is uh, has the processing of the waivers begun and if so have we had contact with anybody who has applied and they've received their uh, their outcomes so this is what i'm going to respond to uh, at this particular moment uh, before i go ahead may i request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so the question that many people have been asking as i said is two-pronged uh, the first one being have we been in touch with people who have applied uh, for the waiver and have been uh, responded to? Uh, this truth is that there are several people that have applied, some of whom we assisted uh, from our side, who are still awaiting uh, the outcome of their waiver applications. But there are also others, some of whom we have assisted and others uh, who were assisted elsewhere who have uh, come to us, sent us messages to confirm that they have indeed uh, been responded to. And so far, there is none who has been responded to who has told us that they didn't get the waiver. And the qualifications differ. There are some who applied for, who want to apply for the critical skills uh, visa, who have applied for a waiver because they don't meet uh, the threshold that they should uh, if they are to apply directly for the critical skills permits and they did get the waivers others are do doing uh, different types uh, of jobs without having necessarily be on the critical skills or having to be highly qualified and they say that they have received uh, their outcomes and they were positive and we also draw uh, inspiration and hope from the Minister of Home Affairs comments uh, two weeks ago that uh, the intention by government is not to chase Zimbabweans out of South Africa but to ensure that they, their status in the country doesn't remain uh, temporary because you know that every permit from the DZP to the ZSP to the ZEP has been written clearly that is not renewable and we have been metaf we have seen the permits metamorphose from one uh, four year uh, name to another uh, for the past three occasions and now the idea is to have them uh, move to a mainstream permit which after which uh, they will then qualify to apply for permanent residence in South Africa so this is what we have received and then the length of time that it takes for the waivers to be processed uh, we are not certain about that but uh, according to the uh, government papers or government information is that it can take between four and seven months for one to get a waiver outcome whether it's positive or negative but we heard that uh, the government itself is admitting that there is a serious backlog because you would know that the waivers are not only for those uh, who have the Zimbabwe exemption permit and are trying to move on to the other permit or to migrate to the next permit which is mainstream but it's for several other migrants uh, who are applying to come and live and work or do business in South Africa and many of whom are applying for waivers because they don't meet certain criterion that they should meet. So at the end of the day, we are talking here about millions of people who are applying for waivers and the government admittedly uh, is facing a backlog but they are saying that they are working uh, flat out to try and address this particular concern uh, so we need to be very much uh, careful that is why then i mean to be very much patient that is why we've been encouraging people especially those on the zep knowing that the permit expires on the 30th of june to then move forward and apply as soon as possible so that when the backlog is addressed you are then found to have applied already unlike when you just start rushing at the last minute trying to apply uh, when the government will be taking uh, quick decisions that may be at the end of the day uh, negative because 
just to clear the backlog so at the end of the day this is what we've been encouraging for you to move on and start applying as soon as possible you know that the zep is expiring on the 30th of june you don't have to wait for the 30th of june for, for you to apply for the waiver because this may throw you into some kind of problems uh, then if you are one of those who has applied for a hair waiver and have been given an outcome which you'd like to share with us so that we can then uh, continue to share with the people please contact us via the comment section or you can inbox us on 073-962-3075 073-962-3075 but the encouragement from us is that just apply for the waiver as soon as you can because the pressure is going to mount and at the end of the day you'll be doing last minute things and at the end of the day you may have problems thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it